What's up guys, Shea Stevens here, PDGA number 77522, and today we're taking a look at the Prototype Fission Teleport. Let's get to it. So a few weeks ago, we saw the relaunch of the MVP Pro Shop. This is a retail site for MVP, but unlike other brands like Innova and DD, uh, this isn't a site where you can go and get just every MVP disc. Uh, it's more for oddities, like you know, leftover discs from events like the Circuit Challenges, uh, prototypes, and they also use it as a site for their players uh, to list their tour series, which I think is cool. So that way, instead of the player having to like make a Facebook post, handle all the messages, do fulfillment themselves, uh, which has got to be a pain in the butt, especially when you're on the road. Uh, they can have their discs listed on the MVP Pro Shop, and MVP will handle all the fulfillment. So that's a nice option. Uh, so looking forward to having it back. They're doing a multi-phase relaunch at the time of filming this. Uh, they completed Phase 2, uh, getting ready for a Phase 3. And once that's clear, we should have you know full production. So almost have it all the way back. Now, during Phase 1, uh, something caught my attention. And that was Fission Teleport. So we saw a few of these uh, in the Gyropalooza boxes last year. I was not lucky enough in my pulls to get one, so I grabbed a couple. You know, I wanted one to throw and try out, uh, and the other ones for my collection. Uh, but I used to throw the Neutron Teleport back in my early days of MVP just as an absolute bomber disc. Like, give me wide open airspace, no OB to worry about, and I'll let it rip. Uh, it kicked the boss out of my bag. Uh, these things were a lot of fun, uh, but eventually, you know, I, you guys know I changed my game a bit to be more woods focused because I don't get that option to throw out in the wide open without fear very often. So it didn't really merit a uh, slot in my bag, but uh, teleport was still fun. So I was looking forward to having some throws with it. Uh, flight numbers for the fission teleport are unofficially. I'm just doing an estimate here based on what fission does to higher speed discs. Uh, so estimated flight numbers are speed of 14.5 glide of five turn of negative two and a fade of 2.5 so definitely a lot of potential for lateral movement on this disc uh i only have one teleport in my collection right now uh that is an old special edition neutron so i do have a side-by-side -side picture for you right here and something interesting to note is traditionally in the older uh you know the pre-flight numbered mvp discs that were made out of house before they brought production in-house the problem with the higher speed uh discs was the nose would droop but that's not the case technically or necessarily in the uh, in this comparison. The new Fission Teleport actually has a lower parting line and a uh, lower nose. So this might actually be more understable uh, than the older runs of Neutron. So uh, definitely something I was looking forward to trying out. So I did go out to the field to give us some throws. A couple things to note were uh, first, I am throwing into a headwind. I would have liked to reposition it and throw into the tailwind, but there was a game going on behind me. And after my first few throws with it, I was legitimately concerned if I threw from the other side with a tailwind, I would have cleared the fence that was separating the fields and put, you know, put my disc into play in their in the kids game did not want to hit any children. So, you know, had to stick with a headwind and safety. Uh, also, I did hurt my back earlier in the week. Uh, I was you know, doing an awkward like high lift and turn stupid me. Uh, so I did tweak my back. And unfortunately, you'll see I get so excited ripping this thing. Uh, I forget I hurt my back, and when I go to throw forehand, uh, I just, you know, my back just seized up on me. It was not fun. That's where I ended my session for the day. So, uh, yeah, no forehand throws in this review, guys. Sorry. But uh, without further ado, let's get out to the field and see how it flies.
And those are my throws with the fission teleport. Fun prototype, actually, guys. And I'm I'm so hesitant to recommend higher speed drivers because of the old misconception that the higher the speed, the further it goes inherently, which we all know isn't the case, but this thing goes. Like that that Heiser flip I threw. I was taking it easy because of my back. Like I, I just smoothed it out there, especially with the headwind. I didn't want to kill it. It went 410 feet. Like that's me really trying to like get all like everything out of my fission photons. And this guy got there on a smooth shot. Um, yeah, I was smashing this thing. Again, that's why I got so excited when I got the forehand. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see what I can do with it. And then I hurt my back like a dumb dumb. But uh, we'll give a warning. I don't expect the stock release of the per, of the fission uh, teleport whenever we get it uh, to be this understable. Again, this is kind of an oddity. This isn't like the usual MVP sends me a batch of testers uh, to review for you guys in anticipation of a stock release. This is an early run prototype that I'm sure they gave a bunch to like team members to get their feedback on. And then the, the extras, you know, still good quality disc. Uh, they put it up on the pro shop. So we were able to get them. So I could definitely see MVP tweaking this a bit more, probably adding some more stability to it. Uh, so again, don't, don't expect the uh, stock run to fly just like this. It, it could, that would be cool. It's, an, it's a, a high speed, understable bomber. Go for it. That's awesome. Uh, but just, giving you guys a warning this couldn't this might not be what the stock release looks like but that being said this thing is just a you know max distance toy for me which i don't really get much benefit from so um who wants it i'm giving it away to one of you guys all you have to do is comment uh on this video and tell me what was the first hole i birdied at south vineland uh just go back to my south vineland video find the first hole i birdied comment the whole number down below uh, and I'll get you in the running for a giveaway for this disc, slightly field used. And disclaimer, I uh, will probably let my buddy rip it a few times too in the field. So a little more field use, but still good disc. Uh, so yeah, just comment down below for a chance to win. Uh, before I go to, uh, if you guys can help me out by sharing this video around, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please drop a sub. Uh, we're sitting at like uh, 1,180 subs, so really close to 1,200. Uh, I'd like to get to that milestone. And when we do, I'll try to do a nice giveaway to celebrate. Uh, so if you guys can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, but with that, guys, thank you for all your support. If you have any questions for me, reach out. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you to my sponsors. For all your disc golf needs, check out Phoenix Discs and Foundation Disc Golf.